Hello friends. The point of this series is so you can watch the cast of a game and the time it takes you to eat your snack. So let's jump into it. So here we have an Empire's War game. I am playing in the red as the Bohemians and in the blue we have Kong Forever or Kong Forever. Uh, Kong is rated around 1800 for a random map and uh, I'm around the 1400 ELO. So there's quite a bit difference between random map and um, Empire Wars, everyone's just developing their Empire War ELO for the moment. Both of us are walling up. Conk is immediately going for the stable and making sure to wall in his berries. On the other hand, I'm losing some villagers to the scouts while I try to wall up my own side. I immediately went for two ranges and uh, I'm going to go for the archer play as Bohemians since they do get fully upgraded archers or mostly fully upgraded archers in um, Imperial Age. So Conk is once again at my base with scouts. I am fully walled now, and he doesn't quite spot my archers running through the middle of the map. Uh, he doesn't have too much to do with his scouts, but he is on the way to Castle Age. I have not gotten there yet. I'm coming forward with archers. I have another bunch right here. Of course, he's walled as well, and he's going for the archery range transition. So as Tatters, I see that, or he's Tatters, I see that, and I assume he's going Cav Archers, which is uh, something that he'll be able to use to make most of the the hill bonus there's not much i can pressure here except for the wood lines um, and once that gets up to castle age i'm gonna retreat pretty quickly so now blue is in castle age he's getting his economy upgrades he has two town centers and he has two ranges sorry three ranges to start making cavalry archers and he's going to try to pressure my base all of my base is pretty compact so there's not too much for him to do except for sniping these um, spearmen that I didn't have much use for anymore since he's going for purely archers. I have kept my large archer mass alive and I'm ready to start upgrading them now that I'm up to castle age as well. And I'm going to drop two town centers uh, because it's a little bit easier to boom when you're only making archers instead of having to tech switch and make the costlier cab archers. Here I'm making my fourth town center, but if Kong can just hold this hill, I will probably be at a disadvantage just because it'll be so difficult to take it against Tatters. One of the big advantage of playing as the Bohemians is I've been able to stay on stone to get a castle to eventually secure this hilltop. And at the same time, I'm collecting gold so I can keep making crossbows. And you can see I'm floating gold, um, floating quite a bit of my resources just because the economy is so stable with four town centers. And this is a main mistake that Kong made in the match is he should have just fought my crossbow at this point in time. If you look at the HP, he has twice as much HP um, in in his units and this is a little bit higher in elevation I believe but he's letting me come up with my villagers to build a castle on this hill but I have my castle on the hill and I have the most important unit of this matchup the Hussite wagon the Hussite wagon is an absolute tank watch this engagement right here on the hill we have what 32 skirmishers versus 45 crossbowmen these skirmishers are fully upgraded um, for the important part but if the Hussite wagons just stay in front of the crossbowmen, uh, the KD is just going to shoot up. If you look at the HP, it's still quite a bit in favor of the cab archers. But here I can just micro and retreat with my crossbow. And the Hussite wagon just <laughs> takes so much arrow damage. And uh, it's just happy there. I don't even have to micro it. I, I have a few more siege weapons uh, coming out. And um, now that I'm up, we got Bracer. We got the wood chopping upgrade. Um, not sure why Arbalist isn't... There we go. There's Arbalist. So making more siege because the main thing I have to worry about for the Hussite wagons is uh, enemy siege at this point. Would just be onagers because um, my opponent's not quite up. He's losing a lot of uh, uh, cab archers to the scorpions as well. Those, sc those scorpion shots are just going straight through them. And if you look at the KD, it's 70 to 37. I almost have twice the KD now. And I think we have one last fight in this game. And uh, making Hussite wagons out of both castles. These Hussite wagons just... Even though they, the Tatters have the bonus damage shooting down the hill. Um, if he tries to engage against any of these Arbalest. Um, he's just going to be doing too much damage. And this KD is just crazy. And this is a player that's 400 elo ahead of me. Hopefully this provided you a good quick overview of the Bohemians against an archer civilization. Make sure to subscribe for more 5 minute games.